following table gives pair of dependent and independent variable. In each of this case, state whether the relationship is positive, negative or uncertain. Try to look into it, Peter. So this says that the dependent variable is GDP and independent variable is rate of interest. So clearly it's a negative relationship when interest rate will increase. So we know Y is equal to C plus I plus G plus NX. Beta investment is I bar minus BI. So when interest rate increases, investment decreases. And that means output will decrease, GDP decrease. So negative relationship. Personal savings and rate of interest. So clearly we know that beta savings is a positive function of interest rate. And the more the interest you get on the savings, the more the amount of savings you will be doing. Okay. Then we have the yield of crop and the rainfall. So, but if there is more rainfall, it means that the productivity will increase, the growth will be more for the crops. So, the yield will increase. Okay. U.S. defense expenditure and Soviet Union's defense expenditure. So, defense expenditures, they are like, in a way, complementary goods. Huh? So, whenever, uh, you know, suppose there are two countries, X and Y, if X will spend more on defense, it is making its country more powerful. So, in that case, Y also wants to spend more on defense to make its country more powerful. So, there is a positive relationship between the defense expenditure of the two countries. Okay, beta, next one. Number of home run hit by star baseball player and the annual salary. So, I've just tried to think about it. Uh, this may not always be the case, but this is how I have interpreted it. So, if there is more salary, agar salary barti hai, if the salary increases, then salary is only increasing for those people, for those uh, players who might have been more productive, right? Because you want to retain those players. So, which means that when you are increasing the salary, it is indicative that in the past they have played well, right? They have had high productivity. And it means that they will be making more runs in the future, right? So, more salary would imply that there will be more runs that would be made by the players, right? It, it may reflect that they have more potential in them in a way, right? And also, if you give them more salary, then they will be able to do more better gym practice and better equipments they will be able to buy. So, that will also ensure that they can go ahead and make more runs. Okay. Now, this says a president's uh, popularity and length of stay in the office. Okay, so try to think that this can be both positive or negative. Why? So, sometimes it may happen that when you stay for a longer period of time, if you have been a good president, your popularity will increase. But if you stay for a long period of time and you are in fact a bad president, huh? you have not done good work, you have rather done bad work, so it will actually decrease your popularity with time. So the length of stay can have a positive impact or a negative impact depending on the kind of work that you have done during your tenure. Okay. SAT score and first year grade point average. So this is the, it's like an entrance exam. Huh? So if you perform well in your MA economics entrance exam, it will mean that automatically you may do well in the first sem of your master's. If you perform well in your CUET UG exam, it may mean that you may do well in your bachelor's, right? So we can say that the entrance exam score is indicative of the, how you will go ahead and perform in your first year, right? And if you have gone ahead and got a good entrance exam score, it indicates that your um, semester exam average or your first year score may also be high. Okay. Then we come to the grade in statistics and the student's grade in econometrics. So if you have a good grade in stats, huh? you, are, you have performed well in statistics, uh, this would go ahead and mean that you have a good background of stats and therefore econometrics because stats is a prerequisite for econometrics. Okay, US per capita income and import of Japanese car. So when you have higher income, 
uh, with people, when people earn more, then they demand more goods. And they demand not only domestic goods, but they also demand uh, foreign goods. Huh? So more income in your economy implies that the imports will also increase in the economy. Imports are actually a function of income, right? So the imports will increase positive relationship. Right, Bita? Okay. 